The human shrink wrap, the power of air. We live in a sea of air. We never truly understand how powerful a force that ordinary everyday air pressure is. Once in a while we experience it if there's a slight pressure loss, perhaps say on an airplane flight, or maybe you go from the bottom of the Empire State Building to the top and you get that pressure differential and your ears pop a little. Those are the times that we begin to experience something about air pressure, but it's a very powerful force. 760 millimeters of mercury pressure. You know, the 14.7 pounds per square inch. You think about the pressure in your automobile tires and it's roughly double that pressure or so that we work with uh, in an automobile tire, but it's a very, very powerful force. So in an attempt to try to give a person some feel for how powerful that force is, we're going to take a volunteer and we're going to put them inside of a large trash bag. This is a contractor size, or you can take smaller bags and tape them together. And then we're going to allow a shop vac. It doesn't matter what size. Could be a household vacuum cleaner as well. And we'll place this inside the bag. We'll evacuate the bag such that the air pressure outside begins to force against the person and they can experience not a total 14.7 pounds per square inch of pressure, but they will begin to experience a little bit of that air pressure as we look at that. So if we could have our volunteer please, Todd and we're going to allow Todd to get into the bag. Let me tell you that when you're putting the person into the bag, be very mindful to help support the person. And Jeff, if you would help me with that process. We're gonna squat down as generally the best position. You become the most stable. And we're gonna need you to stand up one more time, Todd, and get your feet in the bottom of that bag a little bit. There you go. Uh-huh. I think we're gonna be able to make that happen. It helps if you seal to the person's skin and we're going to take and place this inside and what I want you to do, Todd, is to cup your hand over the end of this so that air can flow through it but that your clothing and the bag do not get caught on it. We're gonna seal this up to the skin and I'm gonna watch and if you become alarmed or have any type of problem, then we're going to certainly release this. So, are you ready for this? I'm ready. All right. So, we'll turn it on, seal the bag, take your hand off the end of it. All right. And I think we're pretty close in there. Yep, we're pretty close. Okay. <laughs> All right. Now, what I'm gonna do is let you stand up at this point and there we go, we don't want you to fall out. But can you describe for me now what you were feeling inside of that bag? You can really feel the squeeze and the pressure in there. It, it gets, you can feel the constriction around you and it's, you start to lose your balance a little bit because you're getting squeezed so much. What about breathing? Could you breathe normally or did you find you any difficulty with that? You had to work at it a little bit more. Had to work a little bit more breathing. That, again, you can feel the squeezing from the outside so you have to push against that a little bit. What about movement? Could you, I, I know that you weren't doing a lot of moving in there, but was it because you were restricted or because you were just trying to keep from losing your balance? It would have been pretty hard to move. It would have been. All right. Nice job, Todd. Thank you. The, this is a fun demonstration to do. Uh, again, uh, this is an activity that you would do with an, with an air unit when you're studying about pressure and the effects of pressure, we talk about that. This is an activity that I enjoy doing at a science open house night where we have parents and students come in and parents can step into the bag and brothers and sisters can step into the bag. And it's something that really gets a nice reaction from people because they begin to understand something that's happening. Some precautions though before you do that. Uh, it is a little bit terrifying at times when the bag closes in on you and it closes in and people who have a little bit of claustrophobia may find that uh, it's scary for them. So be very cautious about that and if you see the person at all panicked, all you have to do is just open the bag. You don't even have to worry about turning off the vacuum. Just open up the bag so that the pressure is released at that point. Be very mindful about uh, putting a person into an embarrassing situation. Sometimes people will want to stand up in the bag if they're smaller and that's an okay thing. But when the bag shrinks in, the body form becomes outlined and it can be embarrassing for some people. So you would want to be mindful of that so that you wouldn't put someone into an embarrassing situation. And that's why squatting down in somewhat of a, a catcher's stance is really a pretty good position because body features are perhaps a little bit less uh, obvious at that point. 
do have someone, as I had up here, to help balance and support the person. Because when the bag comes in on them, it may be that they, again, become a little bit shocked. And they just kind of like, oh, oh, all of a sudden. And they would lose their balance as they're trying to be there. You certainly want, wouldn't want someone injured with an activity that it's a fun activity. And then end up with an injury situation with that. So, the power of pressure, the human shrink wrap, it's a really fun demonstration. It's a way of experiencing something about air pressure in a way that's safe, quick, and very easy.